the Lord Jehovah. The Lord Jehovah has spoken with me, beloved people, on October 7th, the year 2017. God the Father, the God of heaven, the creator of all creation, the universe, the earth, and the fullness thereof. He has spoken with me about an earthquake that is coming to Namibia. Now, the Lord in that conversation has also commanded that Namibia repents. In Namibia there is a problem. The problem is that the Namibians are involved in witchcraft. And the Lord showed me at one place the point at which they were burying, I think some of their heroes, and he said, look, they are coming to worship here. So, the Lord is asking that Namibians know that only Christ Jesus is Lord. He is our Redeemer that went to the cross and died for Namibia. And that he is coming soon to deliver us into the glorious eternal kingdom of Jehovah, his God, the God of heaven. The God of eternity. And that he is coming soon, the Messiah is coming, that he may bring us to the kingdom of his Father, the kingdom of Jehovah Elohim. And so, at this time, the nations are repenting and preparing the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. And the Lord has accorded Namibia also this wonderful equal opportunity that she may repent, Namibians may repent, and turn away from sin. In Namibia, the church has entered a delusion of the gospel of money and wealth. And that is what has taken away from the Christian worship experience in Namibia. It has taken away the authority of the church from the pulpit. And the Lord is saying the hour of restoration is now. When he is now intending to restore the church and the pulpit in Namibia, that the false prophets, false apostles, false evangelists, false gospel may now wind up, may be brought down, that the gospel of the cross and the blood may be reinstalled and reinstituted in the worship experience of the church in Namibia. He's saying that there is no time. The earthquake is coming to Namibia if Namibians don't repent. And that in this repentance, they have to observe a national repentance. Namibians are very much aware of the hour and the visitation of the Lord at this hour. Because when he sent me to your nation recently, this year, the Lord did wonder, wonders, wonderful things in your land. Cripples got up and walked, blind eyes opened in your eyes. The message I gave, the message of return to holiness and righteousness was such a message that would purify the church if you are here to that clarion call. The Lord made a very clear call, a clarion call for the church, the clergy, the pulpit, and the church of Namibia. That Namibia may repent and also join the nations that are preparing now deliberately, intentionally, for the glorious coming of the Messiah. That when the nations do assemble that day, Namibia too, may assemble and enter the eternal kingdom of God. Now, on January 15th this year, the year 2017, the Lord already took me and stood me next to the gate, the door to heaven, up in the skies next to the big cloud. And I saw the church that was raptured entering heaven. The cloud opened, the glorious steps opened, and they entered. And so... I am speaking to Namibia in the face of such a visitation that the Lord has already decreed that the hour for entry is nigh, that the nations and the church needs to prepare in totality and absolute holiness that they may see the glorious kingdom of the Messiah. Turn away from sexual sin, Namibia. It's so rampant in Namibia. Sexual immorality is too big. The gospel of money is too big. Witch doctors and witchcraft is too big. The worshipping of other icons and name it is too big. 
the false doctrine, false apostles, false prophets, all those have defiled the land that the Lord created, the land of Namibia. But he's saying the wonderful privilege has availed itself right now, that if Namibians will catch this hour and repent, in a national repentance, together with their leaders and the church, in its totality, then they will see a massive and revival, the revival of the Holy Ghost, the revival that Kenya now enjoys, the revival that prepares to deliver, to usher the nation into the glorious eternal kingdom of Jehovah. May your wisdom not fail you. Repent, Namibia, and turn away from sin. Shalom.